Welcome to part 2 of the ASFN Ambassador News Flash. Our first catch is from Dalen Nadu from the Western Cape, who used his Dawa Saltus 8000, 40 pound Dawa J braid, a mustard tuna circle hook, and his Saltus Grande Elite medium heavy spinning to catch this beautiful bronze whaler shark. Anand Naka, also from the Western Cape, caught this bronze whaler using his Dawa Saltiga LD60 2 speed, paired with his Saltus extra heavy multiplier rod. And then later on, Anand got stuck into this black paddy. Well, yeah, again, it's Simon's time. Um, a couple of fish have been landed already. I just got here. There was some protest action on the road, so I got a bit delayed. But yeah, I've decided to throw a bait out today. And uh, yeah, I've got one of these North Atlantic bait uh, sarasadas. I've made a nice, nice, juicy bomb bait here on a 13 0 ring soy, full metal jacket. Um, yeah, I'm gonna target a bronzy today. And yeah, I'm using my Saltus Medium Heavy Grinder Elite, the 14 foot 6, and my Saltus 8000 Grinder with 40 pound J braid. And um, yeah, look at this bait, guys. It looks so tasty. Nothing is gonna leave this in. So I'm sure you're gonna see me hanging shortly. Yeah, guys, yeah, I'm about to throw now. And yeah, the water's a bit cold, but uh, yeah, it's, it's very flat. And yeah, there's a reef in front of me here, so I'm going to get as close as possible and kind of just throw it just behind that reef in the hope of, you know, the fish that come in the bay on the left here, they're actually going to go around and that reef is going to kind of uh, channel them a bit, you know, to one point and that's where I'm going to put my bait. So anything going around that reef is going to run swim straight into my bait and uh, yeah, I should get it on. Beautiful throw. This medium heavy six ounce sinker and a big bait really loads perfectly. A paley, black, black skate. Wow. I got him quite close. I'm gonna almost land him. Giving you a bit of grease there, eh? Yeah. But uh, nothing the tack uh, tackle can't handle. This is just on the lip here, it's just running up and down. Epic, epic guys, epic battle. 171 centimeter black bailey, 40 pound J braid, the saltest 14 foot 6, medium heavy, and the saltest 8000 grinder. I'm super excited right now. There's a couple more guys that are on. Looks like the fish are here. Rock Hamilton headed up north to Zululand and caught this diamond ray on his Dawa tournament, his Saltus 8000 and 40 pound Dawa J braid. Then Ryan Matheson, fully kitted with corda, got this beautiful common carp. Ryan used a corda spinning rig, size 2 cranked, attached to a spinner swivel, 35 pound boom, 0.70 crimp to a size 11 ring swivel, and a heli safe lead system. Well done in this beautiful catch. Then just a couple of Muhammad Zafa's diamond catches. Muhammad was using his Dawa Grand Elite 15 foot Dawa J braid, 50 pound mustard soy tenno and American fishing wire 1x7 camo. Then from the south coast, Josh Pretorius took his dad's tournament 14 foot 6 for a test drive. I'm sure Dean is going to battle get this one back. Paired up with his Dawa Saltus 6500 90 pound surflon 7x7 with a mustard 80 tuna circle hook. And from there, Josh just kept on reeling them in, landing a number of hound sharks. Up north, Linton Premlal found his very own flapping bream using his Dawa Saltus 6500 Dawa 40 pound J braid, his Grande Elite 15 foot. Mustard 11 O tuna circle and 135 pound surflon. And at Schleban, it was two throws, two sandies for Dean Reddy. That's not happy. Look at that sea behind you. Absolutely flat. Okay, guys, 
sir. I managed to pull him really quickly to the side, yeah? So I've got him just over the lip. Putting maximum pressure on it. So, yeah. Gonna get a number plate soon. I think it looks like a honeycomb, eh? Now there we go, it's a sandy. Dry sand, so that's how you take care of them, guys. Keep water flowing through them, and uh, this guy's gonna be good to go as soon as I put him back. So, I'm chuffed. First fish for the day. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue. Probably get a few more sandies, and I might hit as the water gets low. I'll head down to Zini Banks and look for some diamonds, and then maybe swim a diamond for a Zambi. So, so far, the plan's working. Let's get this bag up there. Sometimes a kingy does that, a GT, so possibly, I don't know. Or it could be just a wild sandy. Uh, doesn't seem very big though. Took a little bit of string in the beginning. And uh, if it is nothing good, I've got the right outfit here, I've got the new Diamond Tournament 15 foot and uh, I've got a Soldier's 8,050 pound J braid. So this 50 pound J braid is magnificent, absolutely. We call it rope. And uh, this rod, I mean, as you can see, you can see by this fish how wild it's behaving. It just turns and goes and yeah. So, let's see, I threw a bunny head with uh, a rapid with a frigate, so it's quite a big bait, obviously testing this new tournament. And, uh, you know, it's be a little sandy, one of these feisty males, oh, lucky to teach it, let's see. Now you can see a guy is tangled. Obviously got another guy's hook or trace in the mud here. And uh, probably cut him off. And he's got the hook tangled in his mouth. So I'm gonna attempt to rescue this one. I'm gonna pull it a little bit higher. Not a bad male sandy, probably about 25, 30 kilos. He had some uh, had somebody else's trace in his mouth. Tangled good by. So we have removed those hooks as well. Obviously. The guy was thinking quite light that he's got a horrible rock thing. So, uh, yeah. There we go, that's what it does. 15 foot tournament. I've got a few smaller sandies on this rod already. And uh, this is probably the biggest one I've got so far. I've only got the rod for a few days. So, I'm chuffed. But certainly, it's not pulled the fish on my own. Didn't need uh, Sanella's help there. Obviously, it's not got a lot of power and a lot of backbone, guys. Coupled with the 50 pound. Okay, great. Absolutely magnificent. Okay, guys, so he's ready to go back. I just a couple of quick steps. Kept him in the water a little bit so he's nice and fresh to go back. So let's get back. Okay guys, so I'm gonna pack it up now. I got two good sandies. I uh, got a little pompano, I got a spinner. 
Well, that wraps it up for part two of this week's ASFN Ambassador News Flash. Remember to stay tuned for part three and remember to click the bell icon if you would like notifications on when new content is getting loaded. Also, remember to subscribe to the channels.